summer today, hopefully. We just put everything back together. We dry tested it, so hopefully it runs once we get some manure in it. Look at the fresh little babies. That one was just born. This one was born a couple hours ago. Um, these are both purchased heifers. And then there's a cute little third baby hiding down here. This one and the black calf are both heifer calves. This makes like uh, 11 calves since Monday. It's Thursday, so a little bit hectic week around here. But he's so cute. Maybe it's a sheep. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Hi guys, uh, so today we are cleaning our calf barn and our wiener pen. So our calf barn used to be our heifer barn before we put the heifers on free stalls. So um, it's all bedded pack. We run it as two sides of the barn. So today we've got to clean out the one side uh, so we can go back to using that side. The other side's full up. So. Um, yeah, just cleaning bedded pack. I'm running the loader. Dad's in the skid steer. Um, kind of been a crazy week. Grandpa's been in the hospital, so he's discharged today. They would typically be in the loader, but um, making it work. We got a lot of rain last night, so and it's supposed to rain again today, so we can't haul manure. So always something to do. So we're cleaning bedded packs instead. Got to find some place to put those uh, three new calves. So waiting. We typically collar heifers with two people so that one person can stand in front of the heifer and then the other person puts the collar on. But just due to some outside factors this day, I was collaring them by myself. So it's a little bit more difficult, but um, after six years of putting collars on, I guess I've kind of found some tips and tricks on how to get them. And as long as they stay calm, I can typically get the collar on by myself without too much difficulty. This heifer here is a heifer that we grew on our own farm. Um, so all she needed this day was a collar. And then since she was already fresh, she went right to the robot to be milked. The collar has a transponder on it, which is the gray part up towards the top. That reads rumination, activity, and a couple other things to help keep track of the animal. It's also how the robot knows what animal's in the robot. <laughs> The collar also has a weight on the bottom and a clip to keep that weight in place to help the collar stay on place on the heifer's neck. This heifer is one of the 12 heifers that we purchased a couple weeks ago. So she got a collar as well as new ear tags. So I use a tag cutter to cut out the old ear tags and then give her a new ear tag number that will um, keep track of her on our farm with. This heifer was not fresh yet at the time of this video, so after she got her collar, she just went to the robot to be pre-trained and practiced. Fresh heifer number one for this lovely rainy Thursday. Connected within three and a half minutes, so uh, still not letting milk down on that one quarter, but she stood pretty good. So when we process fresh heifers, we also singe their udder, which means we burn the hair off if they've got a little bit of extra hair. And then we'll cut her tail. You can see it's pretty long, so we're gonna cut it so that the brushes don't catch it. Hopefully the next two are this easy. So um, when we pre-train heifers, 
the robot doesn't actually touch them. You can't see it from this angle, but from this angle, you can see it's not underneath of her. And the whole goal of this is to get this heifer to just calm down in this robot. And it does feed her, so. You know, hopefully she learns that there's grain, she learns to calm down, and then when she does have the calf, she's used to the robot, and then ideally the trained heifers will catch on to a new robot, or not a new robot, will catch on to the robotic milking quicker than a heifer that's never seen a robot before. So it takes about two to three minutes is how long it'll let her stand in here, and then it'll just let her right back into our quick. Happy Friday, still feeding with no scale. It's supposed to get a new one in the mail today, so. Um, grandpa's back, it's muddy, just winging it. Hi guys, little roundup for this week. Grandpa's here uh, playing with some tires on our silage piles, getting those cleaned up. We've got three beautiful baby calves out in this barn today. Um, two heifers and a full calf over here. I'm one over there. She's from yesterday, but our calf barn's like full. So I haven't moved them yet, but there's some room out here for them to hang out in. I don't really have like a lot to um, talk about this week just because, I don't know, I guess I felt um, not a lot going on and also a lot going on. So we have been working on pumping out the pit, still working on liquids when it's not raining, but it has rained at least once every day this week. Uh, today it even snowed so that was fun um we had 15 15 calves since last monday morning uh so seven days 15 calves uh we had nine heifer calves one angus cross calf and five bull calves thankfully i was able to sell um all but that most recent bull calf yesterday for the bull calves so we're not feeding them we just aren't set up to um feed our bull calves so just selling them so that we uh, had less calves in the barn to feed. Most of those calves were out of the heifers that I bought a few weeks ago. So uh, just a lot of time trying to get them to calm down in the robots this week. They are um, like jumpers. So they uh, like to jump into the feed bowl and that makes it really hard to milk them. So uh, just spending a lot of time right now trying to get them trained. I figure today's Sunday. I figure I'm about two days away from getting them to the point where they walk in and just connect. So just time, time spending doing that. It's a little frustrating right now. Um, I think last night it took me three hours to get all of my fresh heifers milked. So yeah, just, uh, just milking fresh heifers and feeding 30 calves and waiting waiting for the weather to shift so we can go to the fields. So have a great week. Thanks for watching.